Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the five good habits that all consistently profitable traders have. If you're new here, I trade futures. It's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. Lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned, and lots of pain, but over time became more consistent. And I believe that you will as well, if you're not already. So without further ado, we're going to dive into it real quick. Hit that thumbs up button if you appreciate it. If you like these kind of videos, it lets me know you like them so that way I can keep making more of them. So now let's dive into the video. The first good habit is that all consistently profitable traders stick to their trading plan. And a trading plan is just a set of rules that the trader is supposed to follow no matter what. And this could include a lot of things. It, it changes from person to person, but I'll just mention some things that are in my trading plan. You know, one of my rules or one of the things in my trading plan um, is that I I'm not allowed to enter a trade before red news. So I go to Forex Factory, I check the news. If there's any red news coming up, I'm not able to en enter the trade until that passes. There's some nuances with that, but that's just one rule. Uh, another rule is you know, I trade on the five minute chart, so I'm not allowed to uh, take a trade on the first five minute candle close, like not the 9.30 a.m. The earliest trade I can take is on the 9.35 a.m. candle close. That's just another rule. I have a rule what, what my sizing is. I mean, my size is seven uh, micros. So I have that written down. It's like, I'm only allowed to trade seven micros, no more, no less. And that's important because I'm keeping consistent sizing. And with my strategy, I don't wanna be adjusting sizing based on how I feel. I wanna be just using the same size based on the system I back tested. And that's something that's important. But again, it depends on the person's system. Another thing in my trading plan is that I'm only allowed to take one trade per day. So I'm not allowed to take two entries. So once I take the one entry, I let it hit stop loss or take profit. After that, I'm, I'm done. I leave. Another thing in my trading plan is that I'm not allowed to take any entries uh, at 12 o'clock or later. Uh, it's, just, it's just between the 9.35 a.m. to 12 o'clock. So once it passes 12, then... I have to leave. Once I enter a trade, I have to fully let the trade hit the take profit or the stop loss. I'm not allowed to adjust the stop loss early based on what I see. I, it's just either hits a take profit or hits a stop loss. There's no adjusting. That's just a general idea of things that you could possibly include in your trading plan. And you know, mine is about you know 14 or 15 lines. It's just 14, 15 bullet points and that I read every single day to reinforce those habits. So that way I'm trading according to that plan because that plan was created for a reason that the plan was created because I did a bunch of testing and I found success if I followed everything exactly to a T in that plan. And that's what every consistently profitable trader does. So you do, if you do not have a trading plan, then that's your goal. And if you don't have one yet, it's probably because you don't have an edge yet and you likely need to back test more. The second good habit that all consistently profitable traders have is they review their trades. And what I mean by this is let's say they take a trade after the, the day's done, they go back and look where they entered, where you know, their take profit was, their stop loss, and then what happened in between. And they'll just make notes of what happened. And it's just an extra step to see what happens so that way you can further process and internalize it and then learn from it. Uh, and on, on the second point with that is what I personally do is after I review the trades, I actually go ahead and I write down what I learned from that trade. And it could be something, some, something super small or it could be something that reinforces what I'm currently doing. But I always ask that question because there's the things that I could be adding to my trading plan after reviewing a trade and learning something like, oh, um, I shouldn't have gotten in that trade when there was uh, red news coming up. Uh, you know, I got in the trade a couple minutes before the red news. Something simple like that, but it could be something uh, very important, right? So every 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 good every consistently profitable trader reviews their own trades, whether it's you know right after the trade or rather in the trade or the next day or at the end of the week. They go back and look at all the trades of the past week and they get pictures of, the, of them all. They all do this. So make sure you're reviewing your trades uh, not, at least once, right? You can do once, twice. You can do a whole review at the end of the month, go back and look, um, or at the end, end of every day, which is what I would suggest. Just do at the end of every day, briefly go back and look up the entries and what unfolded. The third good habit that all consistently profitable traders have is they analyze their emotions while they're in trades and then an analyze it after as well. So what I mean by this is let's say you get in a trade, they write down like, oh, you know, as I enter this trade, I felt anxious. I felt like, you know, it's too extended. I felt like I was getting in and late. And these are the emotions I felt while I was in it. And then as the trade's updating, they go in and journal what the time is and how they're feeling and what they believe is going to happen. So let's say you're gonna trade at uh, 1030 and you're holding the trade and now it's like 1045, it's 15 minutes later. They write, you know, hey, I'm feeling like, I'm feeling anxious. I'm feeling like I wanna close this trade early because I don't think it's gonna go to take profit. I've been floating with this drawdown for X amount of time and I think it's unlikely to go to the target. And then you know, 12 minutes later, now it's like 12, uh, 10, 50, you write down, you know, I'm, I'm back to break even. I see the market structure start to change on a few names and I think that the time might be turning, I might be going, I might be feeling better about this trade now. 
these are things that all the traders do because if you're able to analyze how you're feeling, then you can adjust how you feel in, in future trades. But if you never analyze your emotions, then you're going to consistently feel those emotions and you might actually listen to those emotions. So if you can write down the emotions you're feeling while you're in a trade and do that over and over again and then see like the end result worked out, well, it's going to be a lot easier to suppress or just you know push aside those emotions and be a little more objectively while you're in a trade and not close a trade early because you have analyzed how you felt before like you felt this before while you entered a trade and it still worked so there's no reason to panic fourth good habit that all consistently profitable traders have is they check news before trading right they don't just go into the market and they go to forex factory they check out you know what news is coming up if there's red news or orange news and they trade around it like they you know if there's some red news coming up or if there's FOMC uh, coming up they know to expect a really choppy trading up until FOMC but if you don't check the news and you just trade during the day on FOMC it's likely to be very choppy and you might get stopped out and it probably doesn't work you know my strategies don't work well on FOMC days and a few other days right so there's certain news that certain tra trading strategies don't work on if that news is coming up because it becomes choppy or whatever before it so Make sure you're always checking the news. Go to forexfactory.com and make sure you know what's coming up. The fifth and final good habit that all consistently profitable traders have is they have a good risk management system and it's very specific. So let's say it's a two to one, right? They know their risk reward ratio. They know when they need to get out. Um, if they're going to take a partial at one R or they're going to take a partial at two R, move the stop to break even, or they're going to let the whole thing ride to you know two R and just either do two R or stop loss. They have a specific risk management system. They're not just entering a trade and say, and as the trade develops, they're deciding where to take profit or where to set the stop loss. Every single trade they enter, they know where they're going to take the first partial. They know where they would potentially move stop to break even. They know where they're going to take the whole whole thing. They know where their stop loss is going to be. All this is set before and it's consistent. So make sure you have a specific risk management system in place and don't just enter a trade and then decide where you're going to take profit or decide where you're going to have your stop loss. Those are the five good habits that all profitable shares have. Number one is they stick to their trading plan. Number two is they review their trades, whether it's the end of the day, end of the month, end of the week. Number three is they analyze their emotions while they're in the trades. Number four is they check the news before they trade. And number five is they have a specific risk management system that they follow always. If you feel like you're missing any of these, just start working on them. If you have any questions on how to build these habits, just leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe for more videos just like this one. Again, I want to help you become a consistently profitable trader. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.